don't know uh, if anyone's watching this, it's, it's the 18th of March, 2020, and we've been locked up now for what seemed like months. I'm down to my last two bits of pasta. I used up all my toilet roll. I'm just worried for Mike, you know, because he finds it hard dressing himself sometimes and he still doesn't really know what socks are for. I don't think that, you know, what he might do with his t-shirts if things get too bad. If you are out there watching, you know, hopefully this will, this will lighten the mood a little bit. It's tough out there, you know. So if anyone is out there and you are watching, just leave a comment. Just let us know that, that you're there. If you need help, if you need supplies, just reach out. We can't help you, but reach out anyway. And you know, if you think you're gonna last longer than a day, maybe hit subscribe as well. Hopefully we can still provide some videos. Day 127 in quarantine. I've not had human contact for a long time. So if anybody reaches this, please, please reach out. I'm worried for Dan. I've not heard from him. Although I have seen Dan last a good three months before on, on two bits of pasta. The world is in disarray. Our great, great leader, Boris Johnson, unfortunately now, no more. You know, not because not of the virus, but he ended up slipping on a banana skin. It's desperate times. We've had a severe, severe toilet roll shortage. I've had to resort to using socks. I've, I've even turned them inside out. My bloody feet stink after wearing them. I don't know what I'm going to do. But we're putting out this video in the hope that it just lightens up some mood in these desperate times. In these desperate times. Please just write a comment, hit like, and maybe subscribe. Stay safe. Is it on now? It's on, yeah. Well, now going. I'm going to get you getting your hair now. Just... Just going now? Going now, yeah, yeah. Right, so... <laughs> Go in. What are you going for? What do you want? What do you, what do you want? May as well, oh, what do I want? Yeah. Well, in an ideal world, You'd have to go with hummus. You'd get hummus. Lovely. I'd probably get a couple of chicken wings. I'd definitely be getting a halloumi uh, fries. Probably get the fino pizza. Maybe a couple of chicken fries. Mmm, yummy. Fries. Or even a platter. I do like enjoy the platter. And I'd be having the sides. If it was in an ideal world, I'd be having peri sauce chips, some garlic bread. Sure. 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 You do have to be kind of mindful. So what I am having. Is the maize I'm wrapped double, a bit more chicken in there. For sides, I'm gonna go for the long stem broccoli and the char grilled veg. Not ideal, but still it's convenient, it's on the go, it's low calorie, and it'll help me get to where I'm 100 kilo kids. Char abuse, sir. I almost put about 12 kilograms in the last five months. Solid game in face. Yeah. You know, like, say people who, like, are into certain fatty diets, right? Yeah. What do you reckon they would say to these? Probably the same thing. Well, these kind of they prey on, aren't they? Oh, you tried doing calorie cut, and it hasn't worked for you. Do well, you know, this like, is why. If you had a, a real fucking... Do you reckon? Yeah. It's so weird because it's so much common sense to me. It would be like, it's you it would go, look, what would you tell these fat kids? Like, what would you, what would you tell? Would you, would you say, just say, oh, you know, just stop eating as much, you know, probably cut down on the snacks that you're having, maybe do a bit of exercise. Do you, do you not reckon that they would give that advice? Do you reckon they'd be like, well, no, you would need to, you know, intermittent fast and, you know, yeah, go, go ketogenic? Of course it would. That's the reason why you gain a lot of Because they claim the reason they gain this weight is because they listen to government advice and it's like, oh, you've eaten too many carbs. It's like, well, yeah, technically they have eaten too many carbs. You're right. Yeah. But well, that's the, carbs. well, that's ridiculous because if that was the truth, then nobody would lose weight eating carbs. Are you having? I'm doing the same thing. The maize I'm wrapped, double. A bit more chicken in there. And for sides, I'm going to go for the long stem broccoli 
and the char grilled veg. <laughs> so yeah, we had Chinese last night, didn't we? We, had a, we, did. we got a little bit too much Chinese. What did we have? What did I have this morning? Breakfast. I had eggs. Our uh, usual breakfast. Two, two, two yolks. Two eggs and two egg whites. Yeah. On a thin bagel thin. So yeah, that's it. control calories there. If I have a Mozam wrap with char grilled veg and broccoli now, that's controlling calories. I don't want that. I want everything else. The fino pitta and the hummus is what I would normally have with chicken wings. A lot of calories in that. You've got to be an adult sometimes. Even with flexible diet and even maintaining body weight. Like people say, oh, if I maintain this really hard, yeah, it's because you go and eat like a dickhead. You're still going to have to diet occasionally if you want to eat some nicer foods. Yeah. So that's what we're going for. And of course a diet drink. If you're making a luxury purchase, by default you cut back in other areas. And you go, okay, we've got a holiday to buy. Or I want this really nice expensive coat that's 500 pounds. So you cut down on so haircuts? You, you, yeah, you cut, you cut down on other stuff. On haircuts, don't you? Why? What's up with my hair? <laughs> is it, is it a mess? hair gel or something, probably? Is it, yeah, but my hair's a Is it a mess, is it? Well, no, I'm just saying that's what I do. Oh, well, that's what you do, yeah. He shaved his hair off. <laughs> Anorexia is like, obviously like, obviously that's too far the other way. And that's obviously a disorder where people say you're not healthy. Why are we not allowed to say you're not healthy now if you're the other way, other end of the spectrum, if you're massive? Because it's normal. Because it's, it's normal, yeah. more people like it. Yeah. That's all it is. At 23 stone, 14-year-old Tommy is one of the clinic's heaviest patients. 23 stone, 14-year-old. 40 kilos at 14. Recently been diagnosed with chronic fatigue. Chronic fatigue, laser. Chronic fatigue? Laser. Fucking hell. I wonder if anybody will give me a backlash over that. Probably. You can't say that. Okay. You can't say that. Chronic fatigue. Maybe if he wasn't carrying around 23 stone, he'd have a bit more energy. Probably. And his weight is spiralling out of control. It's not any sort of like label me, way. No. He's not complaining. He's not complaining. Even the doctor knows. He's gaining weight, so we probably have to bring him in. There you go. Even, even the doctor, doctor knows. Even the doctor knows. Like that, if he's on a 1600 calorie diet, the only thing that could be happening is he's, he's not compliant to it. Not that it's 1600 calories of the wrong calories. Yeah. Like it's he's just not sticking to it. That's why I'm cool. I don't know why it hurts a bit. We've been under the service quite a long time now, and we are almost 30 kilos different. Yeah. Heavier. Yeah, 30 kilos heavier. She says it like it's the doctor's fault. Yeah. Yeah, we've, we've been doing this a long time now, and he's 30 kilos heavier, doctor. So. It's life limiting. In extreme cases like Tommy's, the team can take drastic action. Tom, realistically, what we need to do with this, we probably have to get you in the hospital as an inpatient. Giving them round the clock treatment in hospital. Round the clock treatment. Basically. Shower you. Oh my god, what does that cost? To understand you and your habits. NHS though, it's free, so just keep. It's not free though, is it? Hey, people say it's not free though, is it? No. It's not free though, is it? We're paying for it, so. Yeah. <laughs> of patients whom we think an intervention is likely to benefit them. The aim is absolutely. I bet he doesn't eat broccoli and char grilled veg at Nando's. No. Start there, mate. Start yeah. there. Yeah. Still go to Nando's, just like that. Duration is that for? Usually uh, up to a week because um, the rate of weight gets A week in hospital? Now. Yeah. Do you know what? You have to pay if you do that in America. I can't watch this anymore. Don't say that, this. It's up to your son. That's a bit horrible. I'm not being funny, but it's your fault, love. It is, though. I can't watch this anymore. It's not a fucking kid's fault. He's grown up in a house where he's probably just been shoved in front of a fucking telly with a box of chocolates. You get cool fat, and then after a while, you're just like, oh well. Yeah, poor kid. So what? Are you, what are you having? Same as me. Same. And what spice? Not medium. Mango and passion fruit. Because I'm like, he's one of them. He's one of them. Don't like a spicy meat. Oh no, you don't. Extra hot. I went. No. Too hot, if anything. You no, you didn't. You didn't back that. Yeah, you can see it. You can see that. It's so fine. He's left a movement. How's your Nando's, mate? Good. How is it? Yeah, not like bad it. actually. Nice not enough. Never enough, is it? Not enough. Could have had two of those wraps. They are nice though, they do Mozam wraps. It is, yeah, very they are good. Nice. Get a Mozam wrap, it's quite nice. Mm. 
Isn't it? I could eat that again though. Oh, easily. Easily. Part too far away, didn't you? We did. Part Damn too far away. Wise idea to walk. Get those steps in, innit, when you're dying. Freezing. Just move, mate. Just move more. Eat less, move more. That's what they're saying, innit? Well, it doesn't work. Doesn't work. Calorie deficits don't Tried work. Tried it before. Tried it before. Tried everything. Yeah. Tried, tried everything. Tried probably. everything. Tried everything, hadn't you? Yeah. Oh, you didn't press the lock, mate. Don't, don't have to sometimes. Sometimes it does it when the keys are your pocket. What a start to life that is for someone there. Liliana is hard work and people don't see that. Yeah, she is hard work, right? But that stems from parenting as well. But the fact is, is that when she's been hard work, you probably shut her up with crisp and chocolate. Liliana is on a calorie controlled diet set by the clinic, but it's not going to plan. Oh, well, they've gone for the calorie method. No. They've gone for the calorie Keto, controlled. Keto, yeah. Cheese, Keto. Keto's really upset. Put them cheese. So do this until until she's eaten. Do you know what um, she should have? <laughs> the reason why she's like that is because she's done that in the past. You've then shut up with food, got what she wanted. Pavlovian conditioning. Yeah, and now she knows she does that, she gets food. Whereas in the beginning, you should have sent her to a fucking room on her own with no treat to shut her up. The lily, the pasta's done now, darling. What tea? No, no cheese today. Because this is all the pasta, yeah. Pasta's not nice as cheese, is it? There's a block of cheese and there's a massive bite mark in my cheese. Mice. There's a mice in it. Big boss. She just thinks I starve her because she's constantly hungry. And it makes me feel like a crap mum because there's only so much I can do to look after her and keep her fit and healthy. She's an absolute nightmare. I'd like to know whether single parent families are more at risk of having um, like obesity because it's more com less time, more convenient foods. I wonder. Hmm. Calves. Doesn't even train him. Huh? Doesn't even train him. I mean, why would you lock your door anyway? Anyway, obviously obesity is a really complex issue, right? So I'm not here to say like, oh, yeah, just eat less, whatever. Your kitchen environment. <laughs> It's pretty important. Why are you in there, chicken? Chicken. Chicken. See, chicken, not chocolate. So, a lot of the time when you see people like, who are overweight and they find it hard to lose weight and, oh, I just said I'm going brown, blah, blah, blah. It's like, well, one, you're probably eating too many calories. But number two is, the biggest thing I say to clients when they first start is, sort out the stuff in your house. Because yeah. if it's in your house, you're going to eat it, aren't you? You will. If there's food in the house, and you know it's tasty food and it's convenient and it's chocolate and when you are a little bit stressed or whatever, you're gonna probably eat it. Whereas if it's not there, it's a lot harder to yeah. get in your car, go to the shop, buy it and come back. There's more decisions required to do that mm. and it's less likely that you're going to than if it's in that fridge. Definitely. You'll never come out to mine and find biscuits, um, cake, chocolates, crisps. I, I don't I don't have them. Like I don't I don't buy them. We talk about willpower a lot and like being, you know, making those decisions, but half the time you can take that decision away from yeah. you yourself by not having it in the fridge. Like, we just watched that program then, and it's like, how many of those kids are being offered a fucking cucumber when they're hungry? You're yeah. not hungry if you just fancy a bit of chocolate. That's no, what that's hungry. not like, hungry. Is it's, it's funny how they're always hungry for, for chocolate, yeah, chocolate or cake. biscuits. Not a can of tuna or something. They're not hungry for that, yeah. no, they're not hungry for that. Stop having those foods in the house. And then when you do go to a mate's house and they have a box of chocolates and they offer you one, you can go, yeah, I'll have one, because it's nice. Yeah. Because you don't have it that often. You can't get away from it when you're walking around town or whatever like that, but you can get away from it in your own house. You spend the majority of your time at home. I don't get it, it doesn't come into my brain. So I, I, with this obesity thing, and what should change the society or whatever, it's like people take it as an attack. 
It doesn't mean that they're a bad person. It just means that, you know, if you're overweight, you are by default unhealthier. You are at more risk of disease. And again, some people might be like, yeah, I'm happy like that. Okay, great. And that is a choice. But as long as you understand it is unhealthier, and by being told that, you can't get upset about that. Say, for example, taking a snip, the, the smoking analogy, people choose to smoke and they will accept, yeah, it's probably not the best for me. People choose to drink, it's probably not the best for me, but mm. I'll do it anyway. So if you are happy, that's fine. Nobody's to say that you need to change yourself. You've got to, to, to fit in with society. It's also not a bad thing to say, look, if you do want to lose weight, these are ways to go around it. This is the things what could maybe potentially cut that down in society. It's like the doctor said on the show, it's because it becomes it's normal. It's, it's yeah. not seen as different anymore. We could talk about this all day, couldn't like we? Like, yeah. we were talking the other day about putting something on mum's neck, weren't we? And you were like, oh, it's probably not the best idea to, to tell people that they need to lose, you know, baby weight, because you might get offended. It's, it's weird that it's not telling, but there's an offer there, like, oh, you people can... Would, yeah, it's yeah. a suggestion, isn't it? Suggestion, yeah, or what? So you're suggesting that I need to... Well, why is that such a bad Some thing? Some people might want to lose weight, it's, that's yeah. the thing, but... Yeah, yeah, it's not a bad thing, it's weird. That's it, isn't it? You're right. Yeah. yeah. If you're ready. If you like that video, give us a like. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll be back next week. Next week.